What's going on, Call of Duty refugees? Just like that, we are back! The drama is back! The conspiracies that are going around in the Call of Duty scene, I mean, bro, you need to see to believe, guys. Like the video if you love your mama, like the video if you don't want rig-based matchmaking, skill-based matchmaking, skill-based damage, EOMM, and all that kind of bull squash that we have had in Call of Duty for years and years, and now... We got more guys, we even have more than that. The Call of Duty scene is completely chalked. Everybody's like looking like this and never forget guys, never forget. We are under emo blame Trotara. Homie's never happy. So let's get down to it. I'm excited. Let's get some free therapy. Roll it. This particular video, guys, is uh, going to maybe explain the video yesterday, but we're going to do some deep dive talking okay. about Black Ops 6 as a whole, because as Love far it. as I can tell, I mean, we covered it yesterday, but there's skill based damage. I mean, there's there just this time to kill inconsistency, which doesn't make sense. And I think I found an explanation for that. I, I truly oh, do. Oh, but in wow. general, this video is going to be a long one. I'm going to be rambling. I'm going to try to section off everything into categories so you can follow easier. But it is just... Man, I, I just have so much I want to talk about with this game. It's truly... Let it all out, brother. Let it all out, man. Dystopian. How bad it is, and yet there are still people out there defending it. I get that there's opinions and stuff, but like, if, if this is considered a good multiplayer... All I'm saying here is that it's better than Concord and Dustmorn. That's that's all I'm saying, man. I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying to find like some positives, guys. I'm trying to live, uh, live my life in an optimistic way, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm pretty optimistic, and I would say it's better than Concord and Dustmorn, alright? But the game is hot! The game is hot, but I think the reason... It's not impressive, but on a real though the game for for four years it ain't that it ain't that odd though but it's odd it's odd now, if that makes sense it's better than conquer i personally have been enjoying my time though i guess sadly but personally have been enjoying my time with the uh, black ops 6 Bruh. i want to know where you guys at uh let's get some therapy let's get some air therapy. shooter i may as well just fucking quit gaming and go live in the woods or something i may as well just pull a dexter from the season finale the original season finale and just fucking go to like oregon or some shit and what? start sawing logs because yo dexter was uh, actually very good i watched it like a couple of months ago was very good 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 you know loved it the ending debatable but loved it loved it jesus fucking christ if this is what's considered good in five years or something like that i would hate to see what would be considered bad concord yeah. 2 or something mm -hmm. coming out mm -hmm. uh <laughs> call of duty shoot a man 47 the data edition <laughs> like i mean i can't even pull up the fucking scoreboard without packet burst in this game Damn. on this god awful map and any anyway the maps are uh, uh, trash though they are hot uh, they are hot doo doo uh, i would say that the maps are bad zombies is i it's kind of growing on me zombies is the best zombies it's the best zombies that we got in the last five years but if you're gonna compare it with something like black ops 3 zombies that came out nine years ago if you're gonna compare it with black ops 2 zombies that came out like 12 years ago at this point it ain't that good though sadly you know it, it, you cannot compare black ops 6 zombies with that because if you do, you're going to be disappointed, and that's uh, how I was disappointed, quite frankly. Right now, it's growing on me. For what it is, it's kind of odd, but uh, it'd be what it'd be, man. It'd be what it'd be. I, I think the golden days of Call of Duty are long gone. We're not going to get it. So, uh, yeah. But otherwise, the game is pretty odd, though. Yeah. Pretty odd. I, I want to know your thoughts and your experience with the game so far. I did some research about the whole skill-based damage thing, and I found some super interesting stuff, and you guys are not going to want to miss this. I will get to it after a brief word from this video sponsor. Yeah! Hey, whoa, whoa! We'll be right back. Tranquilo, if, tranquilo. like me, you guys like... Please, no VPNs. ...like watching live streams, then you are absolutely going to love this. Thanks to today's sponsor, 1v1me, because... They oh, get mama with that, bro. Get mama with that, bruh. So in yesterday's video, to summarize again, there's a huge Get time to kill on, inconsistency, and I showed visual <sighs> evidence of this, not to mention just constant Reddit discussion. I understand the homie needs the bread, and I'm not against that. I'm not against him having a sponsor, but like, VPN, bruh. I mean, I've been playing- VPNs are good, but he's like VPNing for Call of Duty, that's like, it gets in the territory of cheating and all that, so yeah. Call of Duty for a long time, and it's never been like this. There are instances where, like, it just feels like someone has double the health, and there are instances even where someone posted on Reddit where it seemed like they were taking damage, but they weren't. Like, their HP bar wasn't actually going down, but it was showing the direction they were getting shot from. Just weird okay. fucking stuff. But yeah. we might have an oh, explanation <laughs> here. You see, someone linked me a stream from the YouTuber Westy, and in that stream, 
someone may have found the reason why this is going on. I'm just going to okay. play this verbatim here. You may have to turn your volume up. Also, they are a bit British, so if you are not of the UK variety, you may have trouble understanding. Uh, so just listen closely. If you can't hear it or whatever, I'll summarize after. Would you, would you oh, like ow. some interesting news, Stop. Mm -hmm. By extension, Westy. Yeah, go on, go. Sure. So I, um, I wireshocked the old uh, COD servers last night. Is that night. illegal? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, you can't I launch it with the game open, but I did it. I basically, right, to cut a long story short, I duped my traffic analysis onto my stream PC so I could analyze the packets without it being on my client. GG. Um, pretty yeah. easy to do. Um, yeah. Yeah, so COD is asking your client to send 62 updates, but okay. you're only receiving like 20 to 50, okay. and it seems to fluctuate quite a lot. Once you get past mm. the okay, so that so would explain why the time to death feels really short, the and then the really time to kill feels really inconsistently long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. The whole, the whole experience is, how do you say, um, shacked? So to summarize Bruh. that, only a third of Bruh. packets, like information packets on the yeah. forever, <laughs> are actually being uh, sent out. And received, I, I guess, by you know association. So yeah, that might explain why really weird shit's going on. But I am not a hundred percent convinced because for the past five years, guys, Call of Duty servers have pretty much always done this, from what I understand. Like, so here's the thing, right? For those of you that might not be sure as to what's going on, here's the thing. Right now, the conspiracy is that, of course, they got skill based matchmaking. That's hundred percent. We we had white papers, we had papers of it, we had patterns of it. For years and years, they they got UMM, that's engagement based matchmaking. They got algorithms in place, so you go ahead and buy the friendly and all the microtransactions in the game, and you know what I'm saying. And you're like, ah, you, and you enjoy the game, and you give them your money. Essentially, that's why the algorithm is there. It's to make sure you keep playing the game, keep playing the game, keep playing the game, keep playing playing the game, and buy, 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 and buy more and more microtransactions. That's why the algorithm is there. We know that it's a fact. They got patterns, uh, data proves it. Drifter, when he, he uh, when Drifter, when he was in office. Uh, <laughs> when he was in office, he would conduct studies, scientific studies, and we've had data. It's proven skill-based management can exist, right? So it's not even a debate anymore. But now, the conspiracy is that we also got skill-based damage. And what you just heard, if you didn't understand it, you're gonna understand it. Wait for it, there's a lot more. So either there is skill-based damage, or this is to do with the bad servers glitches in other words the game came out unfinished like every year and the servers are bad therefore people are losing connection the they don't have good servers essentially in simple english it, it might be to do with servers and the servers are bad which for call of duty they always are now quite frankly though i feel like i've had a couple of bad matches in terms of uh servers but uh, but i'm on playstation 5 I guess this is uh, more happening on PC. Could be wrong. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I do have a good PC, but I'm not a PC gamer. If you play on PC, let me know like your experience. How has it been so far? Years ago, and yet Black Ops 6 is way more inconsistent than even the other Call of Duties. Just from what I've played, what I have seen, what I have seen discussed on Reddit, this seems like extreme. Like I get, I get what they're saying, and I get that's a good explanation. But I'm not 100% convinced that's all of what's going on. Just because, mm. I don't know, man, the servers have been shit for fucking years. Why do you think we have yeah, constant yeah, yeah. packet bursts, for example? A anyway, let's actually delve into this a little bit more, because I got no. a very interesting comment, which makes things just way fucking weirder. Check this Love out, it. guys. Love it. I've been grinding out the L85 GPR91 in-game, and it just felt horribly inconsistent. Even after unlocking attachments that help with recoil and range, I would sometimes land six to seven headshots on people and still not get a kill. So while screwing with it in the firing range, I noticed something odd. When standing still, I could kill every dummy within the maximum damage range in five shots exactly, but if I move and shoot at the same time, it will randomly sometimes take an extra two to three bullets to kill even the closest dummy. I even tried going for only limb shots to see if that was what was causing the TTK to go up, but it turns out that gun is supposed to be a five-shot kill no matter what. So, okay. not saying it's confirmation of skill-based damage, but unless stationary firing dummies are somehow lagging, we can rule out network shenanigans. Maybe some weird bug, but at this point, I wouldn't put anything past Activision. And I say, holy shit, good find. What's interesting <laughs> about this, though, is as we know, this is online all the time. Yeah. And, it, you know, Elvis again, online. even the dummies are on a server and, it, you know, it goes back Damn. to the whole not getting enough packets thing, the information being fucked up, what have you. So that still kind of explains it, except it doesn't explain why when moving 
the bullets aren't registering other than it, that the server can't handle moving and shooting at the same time mm. or something. Mm. I don't fucking know. Your guess yeah. is truthfully as good as mine, but there's something else going on. And, and you might notice yeah, something yeah, yeah. weird about this gameplay. Do you guys notice something weird about this gameplay? I'm going to tell you. Uh, these guys suck. This enemy team fucking sucks. This is not your typical skill-based matchmaking lobby. I'm using my SB VPN, right? You're using VPN? Is that what? I'm off VPN. I am there doing that go. thing where I'm geofencing and <laughs> then like setting my server to another area and it confuses the, the matchmaking or whatever. And there is a discount code for SB. The, the, oh my god. So they're calling this uh, thing skill based matchmaking off. Kalashen calls this cheating. And of course, officially, in the words of Activision, uh, in the rules, you're not allowed to use a VPN. So he's gaming on PC, right? Can you use VPN on console? I don't know though. Or, yeah, rookie question, I guess. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At this point, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, yeah, so these suckers are bypassing skill based matchmaking. Would you say using VPN is cheating in your definition? I, I'm curious to hear what everybody, everybody thinks on it, right? Because of course, officially, it is considered cheating. Uh, because you're installing a program, which a lot of people have already. VP a lot of people use VPN already. But it's a third party software that you're using. Uh, and not everybody's gonna be on the same playing field and you know if you're playing with crossplay on you're playing against like console peasants like me then you know yes it, it can it can go for forever and forever uh, and then we get into this debate hey is it cheating is it not cheating yes officially it's considered cheating but I want to know like what's your definition because the homie blame truth he's pulling out I am just turning off skill based matchmaking <laughs> and he, he's like destroying noobs right now he's getting into the you know bad lobbies and all that he's in but even after that it seems like he's not enjoying the game which is kind of wild right like that is crazy I guess uh, because of VPN he's losing a lot more could be wrong though maybe it's because of vpn maybe it's because like the game is genuinely bad you know the game is bad let's be let's be real guys let's, <laughs> let's be real right uh i mean connections is always like a an issue with call of duty especially when ping is no longer king it used to be ping is king now it's skill based matchmaking is king yeah right so he's using a uh, vpn maybe it's because he's connecting to like let's just say um china or another country that's like far far away and he's in the u.s and he or he's connecting with people that are all the way on the other side of the planet and he's in the u.s playing with playing against them so maybe that that also creates latency just trying to think uh, from a logical standpoint here yeah so there are a lot of factors but of course uh yeah, let's uh, let's see. off in the video description if you want to try this as well. But what I noticed this particular game after playing normal matches, which were almost unplayable solo, like literally almost unplayable solo. I okay. would join so many matches in progress. First and foremost, there were tons of quitters. Even in this match, there are tons of quitters on my team. It's just bizarre how many people actually quit out of this game. But one thing I noticed. One thing I noticed is that the hit detection, and you can tell in this video, the, the hit detection and the shots to kill, pretty consistent. I didn't notice really anything weird with it. On top of that, oh. I didn't really notice any of the weird like aim resist or whatever. Skill-based mm. damage may sound like a conspiracy theory, but I think- To, to be honest, I remember when skill-based smash tricking was a conspiracy. You know, when Modern Warfare 19 came out, some people were like, no, 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 it's hair, it's hair, skill-based skill smash tricking is real, skill-based smash tricking. And on the other ground, no, bro, skill-based smash tricking is not real. Suckers, get good, bro, get good, get good. Get good, scrub. I know that was a conspiracy back then, too. Now, the cat is out of the bag, everybody's not- I mean, Call of Duty, they officially confirmed it, what I mean? Why are we even talking about it? Call of Duty has officially confirmed a couple of months ago that yes, they have skill-based management. They put out their article, there was a whole lot of drama with that too, right? Because, yeah, they're never gonna be 100% truthful. They're never gonna give you the formula, right? They're not gonna give you the ingredients, the recipe of how they make skill-based management. They don't wanna leak the white paper, so other companies gonna start to manipulate it and use it. And, you know, that sort of stuff. And people gonna try and find bypass, which people are already finding bypasses with it's to do with the VPNs and, you know, getting into the noob lobbies. This is how streamers do. They, they cheat in the game and, you know, they use a whole lot of stuff like VPNs, foot paddles, uh, aimbot programs, like uh, DMA cheats, and there's just a whole lot of crazy stuff out there that you heard, that you may or may not have heard of. It is a thing. It just doesn't exist how we think it exists. And what I mean yeah, by that yeah, is, yeah, yeah. 
I don't think we are getting nerfed in real time, but I do think that the better you are, the higher bracket of skill-based matchmaking you are in, the worse your performance is going to be. I, I'm almost like certain, I'm almost certain that you get a better overall experience, not just with ping, which has been proven, by the way. Go watch mm. Drifter's Cold War SBMM test video or whatever, where like you literally get better ping the worse you are at the game. If you are in the low tier skill-based matchmaking brackets, you are going to get better ping because there are more bad players than good players. So, you know, it, that that's the side effect of that. However, I truly think they've taken this a step further. I think that the better you are, the less good servers you are going to get. It's interesting because a lot of people that watch me, I think, are either average to good. Like, if you've watched me for any amount of time, you probably take FPS fairly seriously. You've probably been playing it quite a bit. You're probably at least average. In this lobby here, the enemies are dead. In other words, he's trying to say, toxic gamers, toxic gamers. Definitely below average, as is my team. And I I'm not even like above average at this game yet. I'm like level 11. I could barely stand to play this garbage. And I kind of feel guilty for using the VPN. But at the same time, I fucking don't because the, the entire experience is rigged, dude. And I have a clip to show you at the end of this video just to kind of really hammer this point home. But like, no, I truly think you get less good servers just in general. It, it, I would love if someone actually just tested the tick rate between mm. a high SBMM account mm. and a low SBMM account just to see the difference. Not just ping, but the actual server quality. Yay. Something is seriously afoot here. Yay. And you might be saying this is crazy. This is all just conspiracy theory mumbo jumbo bullshit, PT. And look, I'm just going to say this, man. I'm going to say this. This is the same company that literally said in their matchmaking Intel block, like straight from them, that no matter your skill level, you experience wins and losses more proportionally. I, I don't even think that's the entire truth. I appreciate them saying that essentially the entire game is rigged. No, say you say psych right now. Say psych right now, you appreciate? You appreciate, bro? You, what? This gotta be fake video, man. Tell it and say it ain't so. Say psych, yo, blame truth. Say psych right now. Say psych right now. Maybe that LED retweet helmet that you have been wearing for a while, maybe, bro, it has uh, reached its expiration date. Maybe you need to buy another one, Kaji. <laughs> bruh, like, like, bruh. But I don't even think that's the entire truth of the matter. I think the worse you are, the more likely you are to get wins. And if they're scummy mm -hmm. enough to do that, to break the, the foundation of like what a multiplayer shooter is, then it's well, who's to say they're not giving the worst players a honestly and, and this is what i said in one of my videos and the reason I, i'm personal like i said like i'm enjoying my time even but objectively of course i know that this is not the best game out there it it feels odd because there's no other games to play so it feels odd uh and uh it's a it's a decent game it's a decent game it's not the worst i wouldn't say it's the worst i wouldn't say it's the best i wouldn't say garbage like he has been saying but it's not the best you cannot say it's a masterpiece but you cannot say it's terrible either i mean if you, if that's your opinion that's your opinion for sure if you think it's a masterpiece or you think it's trash hey that's cool by me i mean that's your opinion i i mean that's your opinion bro you gotta stick with it i guess or maybe if it changes your mind then it changes your mind nothing wrong with that i mean damn we all got opinions, right? It's cool. It's cool. That's that's not an issue. That's not a that's not a problem. Uh, but the reason I think I have been enjoying is because I'm not the best player. But even then, I would say, bro, like I don't want skill based matchmaking. I don't want rig based matchmaking. Like that does nothing. I don't get better at it. Because if I get better at the game, then it's like I'm doing worse. The reason I think I've been enjoying it is because uh, I quit playing Call of Duty for the longest amount of time. I used to play religiously, then quit. And now I'm coming back to it, so I'm more like a... I have more like a casual gameplay, you know, approach to it. Of course I know Call of Duty. I've played this game for a decade, so I'm, I'm decent. But, you know, I haven't played Call of Duty religiously for so long, so I don't care. I guess the, the algorithm knows about it. I mean, this algorithm is crazy. You play five games, these suckers know the size of your dong. These suckers know whether you got a B BBC, LBC, or BWC, or LBC, LWC. Bruh. They know they know how many kids you're going to have in the future. They know if you're a dork. They know if you're uh yeah, 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 yeah. They know if you're strong, 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 independent, independent or not. They know, they know everything about you. They know if you're, they know your IQ level. They know everything. You just play five games. These suckers know your, these suckers know your entire family tree, okay? <laughs> they know everything just by you playing five games. So I, I guess the algorithm knows that I'm not, uh, you know, Call of Duty uh, peasant. I don't play every single day. I've been playing every single day a little bit, but I, 
used to not play every single day. I, I used to play, but then quit, and now I'm coming back to it. So I guess the algorithm knows, and it's a little bit easy. It's going easy on me, but I think the more I play, the, the worse it's going to get for me too. Better server experience. Maybe you don't buy the whole nerf in real time thing. And, and with these servers being as shit as they are, how would they actually even implement it? Then again, maybe you could argue that's why the servers are so shit. But I think that uh, we're just getting shafted. I think anyone that's average to above average is just getting fucked at these games. I mean, yeah, look yeah, at the yeah, map pool, guys. I, I have a whole video I want to make just covering why this game's so fucking shit in detail. I haven't really done that yet. <laughs> but uh, before that, I just want to say... Dog. Oh my god. So he confirmed a sequel? Bumbleclad brothers. Bumbleclad. But dog, like you have been trashing the game for a while now, man. So you think that you haven't done that? Say say it in it so man say psych right now say psych bruh but guys check out this video on the screen this recently just came out we had a big report i'm not sure if you guys saw this or not this is absolutely devastating check this video out and i'll see you right there you'll see what happened